What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one fit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Stay the world, Connor, and I will make it so.
Got it. Gunner? I saved the last one for you. Best we get out of here. It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the team. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. Time will tell if you speak the truth. Radun Hagedum! Radun Hagedum! Ganon Dokong, why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they are meeting? Is he not going to get a lot of guns to the Ned Johnson's you got the rocks top? Qua he can see what they're going to do. They're going to get hard at Qua Gantro. Pierce, have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwyck. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye. That we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter 
or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. I was <laughs> not a good person, but I was <laughs> not a good person. William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn, containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's ready in an assault on Lexington. Where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. Ah. 
They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah! You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. This way, Connor! Yes, this is it. This is the way. Yes, this is it. This is the way. Redcoats. What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Left! Keep going! Excellent! We are right on course! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Let everyone know that the regulars marched for Lexington and Concord! The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend! We have more people to warn! Yes! This is it! This is the way! Yes! This is it! This is the way! I believe we are on course! Yes! This is it! This is the way! To the left, Connor! Left! Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. Left! Keep going! We should dismount for this. It'll be quicker and quieter. Did you hear that? Could be red coats. Careful. This is it! You have got the right place!
Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Go right, Connor. this crossing a dozen times why is everything suddenly so foreign pressure must be getting to me this way connor might be safer if we approach the houses on foot this is it you have got the right place The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Get them! Faster! We need to get away from them! We need to lose them. was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Uh, Connor? Excellent! We are right on course! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. To the right, Connor, to the right! Turn right! Should dismount for this. Be quicker and quieter. This is it. You have got the right place. Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh... put on some trousers. At once! Welcome to Lexington, Connor. 
Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. Your ground, men! <coughs> Don't fire! Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! <coughs> Pick can. Disperse, you damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Craven! Break us! They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, or now. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. <coughs> Go on now! Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. Then why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. 
What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so... I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Sir! Man the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. We'll order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Wait for the signal. Signal. Prepare yourself. Fire now. Old fire. Fire. Wait for my signal. Open fire. Shoot! Hold fire! Open fire! Wait for the sick fire now! Hold fire! Wait for my sick open fire! Prepare yourselves! Fire! Prepare yourselves. Fire! Make ready. Wait for the signal. Fire! Wait for my signal. Wait for my signal. Open fire. Wait for the signal. Turning tail!
takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And, and what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there As is no pay, man better sir, suited I to beg the task. Leave to assure really, the Congress that I can no think of pecuniary several. Consideration could have Charles me Lee. To have this arduous employment at the do I know you? I would not expect you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor, to there's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those, like that, I doubt not they the will last thing we need is that the is two all of you coming to blows. Connor... Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. It's not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Oh. 
Putnam's just up ahead. You call me. I don't care much for your excuses, gentlemen. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Breeze is closer to the city, but it is also closer to... their city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silent... Well, then he forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral.
better numbers, you say. Better weapons, better training. But I do not fear. And neither should you. For what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion. We believe. So maintain vigilance. Serve your ammo. Ensure a proper line of sight. And above all else, men, do not fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Be dead. You did it. That was quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words have carried us thus far. And what of Pitcairn? He's left Boston. As I said, he would. And set up camp on Bolton Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom growing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit and wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have to chance a direct approach. That's twice today you propose the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because your man's a March Hare, son. I expect an apology on my return. 